Hi guys, how you doing? Today is Monday, February 18th, and it is a chilly day here in Bermuda. It's really windy. We had a really stormy weekend, and it hasn't really let up yet. It was sunny, it was beautiful, and I was gonna videotape in town today, but I knew you wouldn't hear me from the wind um, against the camera. Anyway, this video is my laundry room. I finished it last week. I'm just getting around to uploading it today, though, so I will let you go take a look at that. Okay, my laundry room. We are right next to my kitchen pantry, which you saw in my other videos. And then this is a little area out to my back door, and it's our laundry room. Now, I have a tower fan there that needs to find a home. That's my laundry basket. This shelf used to look better, um, but since Christmas and deciding that I was going to do these organization videos, I was just like, whatever. So I haven't really tended to the shelf. Um, we have this, which was the old broom closet, and it just still has the ironing board in it, the keyboard, the fan, a couple decorations that didn't make it out to the garage. Up top, I have hurricane supplies. I can't see that changing too much. I don't know if I'll change that cupboard to something else. Uh, and then up in this one, I have, it's supposed to be all my laundry stuff, um, sunscreens and light bulbs. Very, I don't know, strange combination. And then the iron is supposed to be the only thing there, but I've been throwing some stuff on there. Those are a couple things that had come out of the kitchen cabinet. Then down here I have some tools, which I have to change around. And what I did was in the garage I had this toolbox. So I'm going to um, put my tools and stuff in there so it's all in one spot. Then of course we have the washer and dryer with a sink in the middle, which right now has some hamster items in it um, that were waiting to be cleaned. I have some cleaning supplies up there, like, well, my laundry soap and stuff, which is annoying. And then our fishing poles are hanging over here from the ceiling. This is our ceiling. It's, like, all opened. Um, our roofs here in Bermuda are white. It's because it's limestone. And as you can see, there's no insulation. Um, that's just the roof right there. And I used to have all our Christmas boxes and stuff up there, Christmas trees and everything, and I took that down and put them out in the garage. So I have nothing up there. I would kind of like to keep it that way, but it is another storage area, so we'll see what happens with that space. Um, my curtains are actually um, napkins, and I just pin them to the, <laughs> the curtain rods with clothespins, because, well, after all, it is a laundry room. And this woman, this just cracks me up, she looks very happy doing her laundry. Um, I just put that up there to remind myself that I should be happy doing my laundry. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is a little carrier we have for the critters if we have to take them to the vet. And then under there is like snorkels and pool shoes and beach bags and I need to change that out. What that's going to become, as far as I can tell at this point, is that's going to be a pet area. That's going to be where the hamster ball goes and their cleaning supplies and all that kind of stuff. So that's my laundry room. So I think the first thing I'm going to have to do is tear everything oh, off the shelf. No, actually what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take everything out of here and put those grids together and make a shelf. And then some of the stuff that I have over here, like the towels and stuff, the beach towels, um, I'm going to put there. Now the reason I keep the beach towels here, I could put them in the bathroom. But right outside this door and right outside this window, we have a little platform out there and it's a shower. So when we come back from the beach, I have a little pop-up shower thing that we put out there and we shower. And then it's just, you know, easier if the towels are right here, if we need to come in and get a, a towel. And we just shower out there and get all the sand off of us. So anyway, okay. Oh, oh geez. We're on a spin cycle. Something or other going on here. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll be back. Okay, I'm just going to show you this upper cupboard and what we have for hurricane supplies. This is my husband's creation. I'm not even going to rearrange anything in here because really it's not touch wood like we have hurricanes every week. So <laughs> that'd be bad. Um, back in there is a big air bed. We have um, like a queen size air bed. This is the, oof, the Coleman pump that goes with it. 
We have a little um, first aid kit. And then this is a great big lantern thingy. We have an extra smoke detector. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, we've got two in the hallway, so I don't know why that one's there. Um, we have a another first aid kit. This he has some batteries in, uh, a couple flashlights. He has these things. What are these? Instant cell phone charger. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so we've got a couple of those. Huh, fun. Okay. And then we have giant... Ah, oh, I didn't know we have these. Giant Ziploc bags. Let me pull one of these suckers out of here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We used to have these in Florida in our closet full of, like, canned goods and everything. I mean, I guess you should be prepared, but we've just never done that because... Food is just too darn expensive here. I can't afford to put it all in bags and save it for a rainy day. Um, and then up there is the case for his weather radio, but he's got that at the hotel. He's got that um, at work right now. And then we have a couple flashlights. These, I believe, oh, look at this, expired. Instant safety lights, two snap lights. I assume they're sort of like glow sticks. I don't know. They used before April 2011. Hmm. Okay. Non-toxic, leak-proof, no flames, no batteries, no spark. Huh. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe they're all right. Like, really? Does a candle expire? Does that seem strange? Oh, well, we'll find out in our next storm. Um, and then we've got an extra little, um, nightlight up there. Which, oh, I'm sorry, I'm filming my arm. <laughs> I'm trying to not drop the iPad and show you the cabinet. Okay, so that's our hurricane supplies. Again, like I said, I'm just going to leave it. That's his creation. So, you know what? Uh, better left untouched. All right, so this cupboard is now done. I have my soaps arranged a little bit neater. Um, the thing for my iron. And then the shout stuff my husband uses on his dress shirts. A dry L thing. It's kind of a neat system. I like it. Uh, shout color catchers. These are my favorite things. I use them every day. I do not sort my clothes. I do not sort my laundry. It, I find it saves so much time because you're not specifically waiting for a load of whites. Um, I just throw everything in together and I use those. They're like a dryer sheet and they keep um, the colors from running, the colors from fading, enjoyable. I will always use those. Please show to continue to make those. I love, I love them. And then up here I have my sunscreens. Some of them I could find expiry dates, uh, most of them I could not. I'm sure they lose their potency and I'm sure I will receive emails from people telling me that. Um, I'll just have to buy some more in the summer. And then up top I had light bulbs and I've taken them out of there for now. I just threw them in a basket um, on the floor here just till I figure out where I'm actually putting them. This was just some extra stuff that I had up in the cupboard. Um, this, you know what, I just finally have to throw this out. It was a piece of pottery I found at the bottom of the ocean. And I'm sure it's not from the Ming Dynasty. <laughs> I'm sure it's from, I don't know, fell off someone's boat. Anyway, so that's gone. This is uh, cleaning supplies. I believe they're my landlords because I don't think I've ever bought Clorox. Um, just bleach for colors. I, uh, I'm against bleach. A friend of mine loves bleach. I have ruined every outfit I've ever worn while using bleach. So I just try to stay away from it. Tide pods. I love you, Tide. I don't like these things. Um... I have brought them out of the cupboard to just finish them up because I did pay $27 for this pack of these things. Um, they're just gooey. They're like a bath bead, but I, I use them for my dishwasher. I use those same kind of that same idea, um, but I don't like these things. I like seeing the soap that I'm pouring in and being able to adjust it if it's a small load or whatever. Um, these fingernail clippers. Yes, I keep fingernail clippers. Uh, in the laundry room. It's because when I fold laundry here, if I have the slightest rough part of my fingernail and it's getting caught on clothing or towels or whatever when I'm folding, it makes me nuts. And I'm forever going to the bathroom to um, fix it with fingernail clippers. So I thought, you know what, I'll just bring an extra set out here and leave them here. All right. Okay. Moving on. Again, this woman is way too happy about doing laundry. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back. All right. So it's the next day. I just wasn't in the mood to do this yesterday. <laughs> um, I just did the quick video of what it looks like in here. Okay. So under the sink is now empty and I'm going to put the pet supplies in there. 
over here is a complete disaster. But inside, I put those shelves together, and now everything is tidy inside there. I have that bag hanging there, the blue bag, that has my dad's stuff, because he comes down a couple times a year, so I just have, it's a bag he had some stuff in, so it's his snorkel and mask, um, his pool shoes, and some extra golf balls, and then that's our sun hats, our beach bags, that's a bag with our snorkels all in it, and then our pool shoes, and the kids' um, wetsuits and swim fins, I just keep those two shelves set up like that, like the snorkels and the pool shoes, because generally they're sandy um, when we come back from the beach, so I don't want to put them above the hats and the beach bags, because then the sand would go into those. And then that's just the keyboard. I can't put that out in the, um, I can't put it out in the garage, because it's just, it's going to get wrecked. So I'll just leave it there, and every once in a while the kids want to play with it, so it can just be pulled out from there and plugged in on the table or something, and they can play with it. So that's uh, what I've done so far. So now I'm going to work on the cabinet under the sink and put all the pet supplies under there. All right, so under the sink is now done. It's all the pet supplies. I'm just using a flashlight because it's a little dark under here. Um, that's all fleece blankets that I had bought for guinea pig cages. But after I did it and tried it, I changed my mind because to me, it's smelly. It's um, it's not for us, but I bought all the fleece anyway. I'm just going to hang onto it. I might make little pads for them to sit on or something at some point, but anyway, I'll just going to hang on to the fleece because I bought it. Back in the corner there are two corner litter boxes that I just find we're not using because really it doesn't matter. They're pooping all over the cage anyway, so they're just going to stay back in there. And a couple extra cage supplies, um, little building things, dishes, the hamster's little igloo thingy. Um, this, the bottles there are shampoo for the guinea pigs, well, for any pet, but just for the guinea pigs, and, um, uh, clean cage to clean the cage, the hamster's ball for when he's rolling around the house while I'm cleaning his cage, some clippers for their claws, uh, for their nails, and, um, face cloths for when they have a bath, I've marked those, so when they go in the wash, I know whose is whose, that they're not human face cloths, and then the litter box paper is the stuff that I put at the bottom of the bird cage. That black thing right there, that's um, a bottle brush, and I used to have it hanging on the door with a couple nails, but I was always scared that someone was going to bend down to get in this cupboard and jab themselves in the face or the eye or something, so I've taken those out, I'm just going to lay it down in there. So, under the sink is done! Dedicated to pets. Alright, okay, moving on. Alright, so I just want to show you the messy process of this task. <laughs> I told you I would show you the mess, and this is what happens. I'm trying to keep it contained in the laundry room so it doesn't... I, I mean, I could easily drag this all out into the kitchen, but I don't want to mess up my kitchen again. I've already been there, done that. The vacuum is in the sink, yes. Uh, the reason for that is because I was standing on this ladder, and I needed to lift the vacuum up higher somehow because I had a vacuum all in those rafters because the cobwebs were out of this world. Um, and I had to clean off the top of the fan, and I had to clean up on that ledge. So I've now moved the girls' Playmobil dollhouse boxes out here. Uh, they were in our bedroom closet, so they now have a new home there. Uh, suitcases, I have those here now. The black ones are my husband's and mine. The burgundy one is my dad's. I borrowed it at Christmas, so I'll just keep it there until he comes down the next time and give it back to him. Um, and then the girls each have a black one, and I've put those into their closets. Um, and then my scrapbook bags I brought out from that little cupboard that's above my new broom closet. Um, I'm going to repurpose that little cubby, and I think I'm just going to put some winter jackets and stuff up there. This green bag has all our scarves and gloves and hats and stuff. When we left Canada, I kept a few things. We actually needed to wear some of them in Florida. Here it doesn't get that cold, so we haven't really needed to have winter hats. Um, but again, and then there's something to throw in our suitcases when we do go up to Canada. The silver bag is a cover for my husband's scooter. Uh, these silver things, the top thing is a DVD player that there's nothing wrong with it. The other case, um, <laughs> that holds the microfilm. No, that's um, <laughs> it's barbecue tools. Very fancy case. Uh, toolbox, I'm just trying to gather some tools that I have around the house so that they're all in one place. My fishing tackle box, 
This has electric cords um, for like cameras, um, like older cameras, and cables for the TV, stuff like that. Um, and then these blankets just for, you know, taking to the beach to sit on or whatever. Um, the kids still have some baby blankets. They like to take them outside if they're sitting down to do something. They sometimes take those with them or, I don't know, go play with the guinea pigs or something. And then, um, we have these towels. It drives me crazy that some of them match and some of them don't, but oh well, it's a beach towel. And then down here, that blue thing is a guinea pig cage that I'm just going to keep um, just in case, uh, you know, one of the pigs gets sick and has to be separated from the other ones or whatever. It's always good to have an extra. Um, the blue and orange thing is my husband's, uh, Florida Gators cooler. Go Gators. Um, the container has some special Christmas stuff. And then the black, this is just a shopping bag. It doesn't need to be there. Uh, the black bag is my husband's travel golf bag. This right here is a heating, a heat dish. It's a heating fan, which, thank God, I have not had to use so far this winter. Um, and I'm going to store it up there. Um, it won't be too hard to access if I need it. And I'm trying to figure out if I can get these fans up there as well. That one, and I have this tower fan. So we shall see. But I have this to deal with, um, so that's fun. I have the stuff on the floor to deal with, so that's that's good. And then I have this stuff here, and some stuff on my dryer. Um, yeah, good times. But uh, I have to go um, find my children at school and uh, continue on with our day, head to gymnastics, stuff like that. So I will be tackling this in the morning. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. It's looking a bit better in here. It's a little loud. I'm working on laundry while I clean. Um, that's my laundry thing. I actually took the fabric um, compartment thing off of there, and I'm actually washing it right now because, like I've said before, you got to wash everything in the room that you're cleaning. The curtains are coming off next, and I did the fan yesterday. I wiped all the top of it and underneath, and I vacuumed all of the rafters. All the mess that was on the floor yesterday, I've kind of contained into bags and stuff. This I have to tackle next, but it was just making me crazy, and I just had to kind of gather everything and vacuum. So it's a little bit more organized in here. And then what I just have to do is go through these things and have a garbage bag in one hand, a donation bag in another, and then what I have left, I just have to organize somewhere, somehow. But like it's... It's little things, like the shampoo bottle that needs to go in the bathroom, the scissors, like the tools, that kind of stuff. It just needs to be put where it's supposed to, um, where it's supposed to go. Up top, I just took the basket of the, I have a couple old toys that are up in there. Um, and then in the blue bag is my witch, and I have a Smurf costume that my daughter, that I made for my daughter this past Halloween. So that's up in there. Um, it'll eventually make its way out to the garage, but you know me in that garage. I'm not going out there anytime soon. Those, the red thing and the green thing are a couple decorations that just need to go to the garage at some point. That's my heating fan up there. And then those are some paper lanterns um, for Canada Day. So um, that's where I am right now. Um, now I have to fold laundry <laughs> in the meantime. Um, and then I'm going to tackle this. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in the laundry room, and I'm actually doing laundry, so please ignore the washing machine. I hope you can hear me. Anyway, these are the curtains that I had above the window and above the door. Now, I told you they were just napkins. That's all they are. They have, um, they're from Tag, the store Tag. I, I don't know if that's just a Canadian store. Um, anyway, they're about this long. It's about half the length of my ironing board. Um, this is a no-sew project, so all you do I washed these and I ironed them a minute ago and you just fold them in half and the curtain rod that I have for over the door is just one of these where it has the little um, hole in it and all it does is go over the thing like that see what I mean like so you just nail it to the door and then that part goes down over the thing now the one that I have for the um, over there, that was already 
there, and it's this type. But the clothespins work with both of them. So I have a bunch of clothespins. I'm just going to divide them up because I have an even amount for each curtain. So let me just get uh, situated here. Hang on. All right, so I have the green ones done. So you just do this. You pin it like this, put it over the rod, and then, <laughs> oh, there we go, and then scrunch, okay? And then you go another, I don't know, four or five inches or so, pin one, and then scrunch, and do that all the way along. Okay, so I have both curtains back up. Um, once you hang it up, you just have to adjust the spacing of your Close pins a little bit, but uh, I don't know. I just think it's a easy way to do a cheap little curtain. Um, it's a no sew project, no sewing involved. You just flip it over the rod, pin it, and you're done. Just a cute, um, cute way to do it with the clothes pins in a laundry room. All right, see ya. All right, the laundry room is done. It's spotless, and I'm actually doing laundry right now. The laundry is never done. But the laundry room is done. I need to, uh, paper towel. And the wash is about to take off here in a second. But everything is done and dusted and clean. I've put all the toys that came out of my kids' rooms that we're going to hang on to for many years. Um, I've put all those things up there. Um, the suitcases are there on the shelf now. I have the same stuff that I did the other day. But I added a basket of um, extension cords. Why we have so many extension, <laughs> extension cords, I don't know. Um, my laundry basket is back. And then over here I have my iron and a little sewing kit. Because sometimes I find when you're doing the laundry, you'll notice that a button is missing. And then down here, just have some tools. That's a bucket of seashells. Really, I don't know what to do with that. So that's going to stay there. And then I have all our light bulbs down in there. Up here, that's still the same. A um, couple empty boxes and extra. I had bought extra napkins in case anything happened to the ones I have on the window. So those are up there for now. And hurricane supplies are the same. There goes the washer. And then the stuff here in the cabinet is the same. I think I added just a couple more hats. So that is the laundry room. Um, I think. It turned out good. Believe it or not, this tiny little room took probably just as long as the other rooms. But anyway, it's done. It's clean. And the laundry will continue. All right. <laughs> See ya. Hi. So that was my laundry room. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I should probably explain a couple things in the video. The toys that appeared up top in bags, and I don't think I ended up explaining that, um, they came from my kids' rooms. I was actually working on my daughter's rooms and the laundry room at the same time. It was a little crazy. Um, but they had my youngest daughter had all those toys in bags under her bed waiting to find a home. And they were going to go to the garage, but I just didn't want them racked out there. And um, so then I realized there was actually quite a bit of space up there. And when I realized I had the large Ziploc bags and the hurricane supplies that we weren't going to use, I thought, aha, I will bag up the stuff. And that way it's protected from dirt and dust and bugs and whatever. So um, that's why the toys ended up up top. So that worked out well. But the stuff that was up there is now in my bedroom. I'm working on my bedroom today. I actually have half of my closet dumped onto the floor of my room and my clothes are all over my bed <laughs> in neat piles but it's all over my bed so I um I will have to tackle that tomorrow and I'm just realizing that it's quarter after five I'm leaving in an hour to go to a movie again <laughs> there's been a string of good movies coming to the island I'm gonna go see impossible the one about the tsunami so I'm gonna go see that tonight and I'm not gonna want to arrange clothing off my bed so I should probably go tackle that now okay <laughs> I better go oh and the other thing is under the pet cupboard that I did under the sink um that's working out really good the fleece that I was talking about and complaining about I'm actually now using for the guinea pigs if you don't understand what I'm talking about with the fleece and the guinea pigs it's a it's a weird thing but there's guinea pig owners that use fleece in their cages instead of bedding 
Now, I've always been a bedding person and I tried to switch to fleece and I've had some times where it just wasn't working, but this past week I've been forced to use it because my pet store is out of bedding. It didn't come on the container um, to the pet store. So they're not getting any in for two to three weeks. So I've had to switch back to the fleece and I'm now using that. It's actually working out okay. So that has changed. Everything else in the room though is good and it's working and I'm still doing laundry. So um, anyway, that's it. And um, I'll be back hopefully in the next couple days with my bedroom. I'm really hoping that room doesn't take me an entire week. Let's hope. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See ya.